Jeff Williams here with AskJeffWilliams.com. <laughs> yeah, I know what we're doing today. Well, today, come over here. We're over here at Desert Outfitters. That's right. And if you remember my last video, I told you we we're going to do a meet and greet on the 16th. Remember that? And that's where we're at. And here, I got a couple unwilling suspect people over here. They want to come in and get involved in the show. What's your name, sir? Steve. And your name? Cecilia. Steve and Cecilia. Now they come down, they want to learn how to do a little gold panning. So what I'm going to do is today we're going to talk about how to gold pan. I know that sounds simple for most of you out there, but some people don't know how to do it. Or some people are doing it wrong. And I want to make sure they get everything. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? So, so come on, on. Let's, let's go. go. That's right, come on. <laughs> All right, as you guys probably know, or maybe you don't know, uh, Desert Outfitters is under new ownership. Uh, and before I get started into that part, I just want to say thanks for showing up. Uh, but I wanted to get into the point that we've got new owners now. And uh, yeah, these are, <laughs> this is Steve Lindley. Hello. Hey, lady, you call him Dr. Joe. Everybody. I always mispronounce that name. <laughs> and this is Dan over here. <laughs> I said that on the phone like ten times this morning got her mad. But anyway, <laughs> these are the new owners of uh, Desert Outfitters and uh, they're doing a fantastic job. That he owns a place or I should say a service called Bobcat Tours. Here it comes. A lot of people have been asking me, Jeff, when are you going to take us out and show us some hands-on prospecting? Well, now I can because he's got the tours and I've got the places and some of the things to talk about. And so what you can do is set up the tours through him. I'm going to go out there and we're all going to sit around and we're going to dig up some gold. I'm going to teach you geology. And then at the end of the day, you get to keep all the gold you find. Mm. Sound like a plan? That's yeah. it. It's like I said. I wish I could. I could take you to this mine, but um, until we get it all into <laughs> I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting one day to be in there and feel somebody tapping me on my shoulder. <laughs> you stay the hell out of my mind, Daddy. Black. Now, will you be going out on those tours too? With, with yeah. Us, um, there'll be special tours. Just yeah. that he'll say, "Is Jeff's going to be on this tour?" If not, he'll have regular tours that just go out without me. Right. Okay. So um, the ones that I go out, I'm going to have the whole trommel, all the equipment's going to be set up. We're going to run everything uh, as many yards as possible and then at the end of the day we're going to do a cleanup. Uh, we'll have full facilities, we're going to supply lunches and all that stuff. Uh, they'll even pick you up if you're in Vegas from your hotel and uh, drive you out there. I'm going to show you how they used to do it in the old days with this. Then I'm going to show you how much easier it is with this. Now, once again, the gold pan is only used for two things. Prospecting and cleanup. That's it. Nothing else. This is not a production machine. This is just to let you know what's in the ground or if you've got a trauma or a sluice to do a cleanup. That's all this is for. And if you don't know how to use it, you're going to be in trouble. Now, the first thing you're going to do if you're prospecting, and I know Nick can tell you this, is you're going to need a classifier. <laughs> you've got to have a classifier. Why is classification so important? Because of two things. Specific gravity and displacement. Those are the two things that are going to work against you if you don't use one of these. Now you're thinking, okay Jeff, that's pretty smart, but how did the old timers do it? They didn't have a classifier. Well, most of the time they didn't. I'm going to show you what they did do. Now, no, there's no gold in there, so don't ask. And yeah, you're going to get wet. Okay, so you're thinking, Jeff, how did, how did the old timers do it? Well, first of all, the first thing you do when you're gold panning is what? You get a big old pan of material, what do you do with it? You got to shake the heck out of it. And what's that called? Stratification. That's right. Now, stratification, all that means is that you're putting the heavier stuff on the bottom of the pan, and the lighter stuff is going to be on the top of the pan. Just think. So in the old days, um, they just had a metal pan. The prospectors had it almost identical to this one right here. It's a drop bottom metal pan, no frills. And what they do is they go to a bench or they go to an area of the stream that's dry and they would shovel into it. 
Now, mind you, they didn't have classifiers. If they did, it was a homemade punch plate. So they just threw everything in the pan like this. And like I said, there's a reason why I'm telling you this, so you guys get all the fundamentals and you can see where we're at today and why it's so important. So how did the old timers do it? Well, what they would do is they would stratify like I told you. And then you're gonna tilt the pan forward. Now I know if I got any gold, it's in the bottom. And I'm just gonna scoop the top layer off like such. And I'm gonna do it again. Swirl, shake, tilt, and just gently allow that water to wash it out like an ocean wave. That rattle means that there's a nice chunky gold nugget in there. A growler, right? Yeah. And then you can tap, 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 which is gonna walk the gold. And if I have any gold, it's gonna oh. be right up there on the wow. top. I don't know nice. if you can see that. A little, that's quite a bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I've already had to put jet dry in all these tubs. Now, does everyone here know why I use jet dry? We made it to break the tension. Surface tension! You gotta break the surface tension. Now, you're saying, okay, where does all that iron come from? Remember the secondary enrichment? It's pulling from those intrusive rocks, the igneous rocks, which is the granite, granite porphyry that came up through and forced its way up through the dolomite. It's pulling all that, because remember, there's a lot of iron in your igneous rocks, tons of iron and it's pulling it all out of there through that chemical reaction, and it's literally reforming it in these bands next to the contact zones of the dolomite and the igneous intrusion. And that's why you have iron, and it's pulled all the gold out too. It's actually redeposited. It's called secondary enrichment. <laughs> that's an inside joke. Anyway. Feel free to bring it up. <laughs> so, you're, just, so, you're just so young and handsome with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was cool. So anyway, man, it was my face red. <laughs> so, um, yeah, where was We're I? Slim. <laughs> We're slim. We're at slim at it. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. 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 I think he's got some of those in there. They're about eight Oh, there's some good gold in there. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's so, a piece of quartz attached uh, to the back cool. of it. There's a picker there. There's a piece there, and there's, right. there, and there's some fines in here, too. Yeah. Yeah. If you get a jeweler's yeah. loop, you'll see heavy reds and blacks, right. which is iron. Well, iron is always good in the rich. mix when you gold have it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a good one. Or there's no gold like that that wears an iron hat. That's that nasty limonite. That's a money shirt. Yeah! You took it off, man. Yeah. Yes. Okay. That you put on? So, yes. because it's got like a little film on it. Make sure it's getting yeah. all nice and wet. Yeah. yeah. And he uses it all the time when he passes because he don't like getting all wet. <laughs> Get that gold to stratify in the bottom. I'm going to help you because I don't want you to go home looking super red. Okay. So, you're going to hold it like this and you're going to swirl. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to shake where you can see it going back and forth. And as you're doing so, you're going to tilt forward. And as you're shaking it, you tilt forward. Then you're going to let that water like an ocean wave, just washing them out, nice and gentle. When you classify, it's going to get all this bigger stuff out. And I left it in there because my point is I wanted to show you when, you when you shake it, all the light stuff will come to the top. So I tell people, to, used to work get here with used to using a gold pan. Days a week. If that's what you're going to do. If you're going to use a metal detector, then forget it. You don't even need to learn. Um, Those are the best days to come Everybody has their preference on gold pans. I like this one. This is called a Garrick Super Sluice. Nice to meet you guys. Appreciate it. Well, I hope you've enjoyed today's little meet and greet out here at Desert Outfitters. And if you enjoyed today's meet and greet, please rate, share, and subscribe. Yeah, I know. And of course, leave me and Slim a comment because we like to know what think about all this craziness out here. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams with SFWilliams.com saying you like to meet and greet.
And you'd like to see another? Well, stay tuned for when the next one's coming. I'll keep you updated, brother. Take care, everybody. All right, here we are back again. I'll be going down this, this time, down at the bottom. Of course, not that way. I'll be going down that way. There's my bucket. You can see where somebody put a cable here so they could get down there. There's my little pickaxe down there. There. Okay. We're down at the bottom. You see where the stopes go down? Down there, see that? Go ahead and take a look. More tags, more rotten timber. We got beer cans. There's a nice space. Fuzzy stoop. See that wiring in there? That's where I was looking down. Beer cans everywhere. Huge stove. Somebody's clothing. See right down there? Somebody's been digging. These yellow tarps. Somebody's been high grading in here. Look what we got. 